What is up, guys? Twitchy Tango here, and today, wow, you guys are getting, uh, you guys are getting spoiled. Three uploads in a week, then the streams of Resident Evil 4 Remake. That's a lot of content we're going to be uploading. But hey, I wanted to talk about something today. I want to talk about this game I played, uh, Like a Dragon Ishin. Ishin, I'm saying this wrong, and God forbid I actually say something right for once. Fantastic game. Uh, I had a choice back in February of a game I was going to play. It was either Like a Dragon Ishin or... Or Atomic Hearts, but after listening to this dialogue for more than five minutes... I'll do whatever you want. Ugh, just give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your polymer inside me. Don't let her boss you around. We have no time to waste. Don't listen to him, big guy. He wants to drive us apart. Take off that stupid glove so we can stay together forever. I see. Do you want me to punch you or tear you apart? You'd really kill me over a stupid glove, sugar? How would you survive in this cruel, violent world without me? Easily. It's not like you're actually helping me or anything. But I can't make things for you out of thin air, sugar. I need polymer and other components to work. Put your polymer inside me so I can pleasure you. So instead of ripping off my ears, which, you know, gotta say, ears are pretty much 10 out of 10, depending on what you're listening to, I decided to keep my ears. I decided to play like a Dragon Nation, and when I tell you this is definitely my game of the year until I played through Resident Evil 4 Remake, this might still be my game of the year. Everything about it was just fantastic. From the, probably, I was already all in on this Yakuza spinoff, but Chapter 6 really sold it for me. As you're seeing, this is the footage right here of Chapter 6. It was just so ball to the walls all that build up to it everything that happened in it was just so good and i miss and i want more as you guys know this is kind of a a horror oriented channel i pretty much don't stay out of my comfort zone but as someone who was wanting to experience the yakuza series and i will be experiencing experiencing the yakuza series for the first time in uh beginning of a end of april beginning of may I wanted to get my toes wet. I wanted to experience this franchise. And of course, it's not connected to the mainline entry. So I don't have any reason to play anything that b before or came after. Like a Dragon Nation is also a remake of a game that was exclusive to Japan that released in 2014. But the characters, whether it's Ryoma, Kondo, uh, Hizuki, uh, Takachi, I think I'm saying his name, you know, Ryoma's brother, uh, Okita, uh, the the other guy, I can't think of his name. He was he was uh, friends with Kondo. He was the one that spoke for Kondo. Uh, all these characters were fantastic. The gameplay was fantastic. The dungeons that you could go through, each adding more difficulty from the previous one, fantastic. And I got to say, I really enjoyed my time in Like a Dragon Nation. I don't very much go out of my comfort zone, but... I wanted to give it a chance, and I'm glad I did. The characters are fantastic. The gameplay setting is fantastic. The be it had a perfect beginning, middle, and end. Chapter six, I was taken back by how good this story was. Chapter nine literally had me shedding tears. When I'm not kidding, it, I don't cry in video games. I barely cry at all. Had a lot of that in my younger years, but like a dragon mission was nothing short of extraordinary. Uh, the from chapter nine to the end of the game was fantastic. The final boss fight against Takachi, I think I'm saying that wrong, was fantastic. The build up to it was phenomenal. I could be using these words to describe any part of Like a Dragon Nation, and it wouldn't do it justice. And I honestly think it'll absolutely be my game of the year. Honestly, I do believe that's what it is. I believe. It will definitely be my game of the year. As much as I love Resident Evil 4 Remake, I've been looking for this kind of game for a long time, and I really love games like the Dead Space Remake. But Like a Dragon Nation just had so much going for it. It had no business being as good as it was, and I want more of that gaming. I want that kind of storytelling that you don't know what's quite going to happen till it happens. Chapter 6 was just kind of balls to the walls from the beginning to the end of it. The build up towards the end game of the 
the the game itself was just insane. Like the characters, like another good character that I really liked was Oreo. She was fantastic. She really, really loved Ray, uh, Sakamoto Ryoma. Really, really loved him. <clears throat> and wanted to be what's best for him. You couldn't find out why she was really attached to him. was because she was looking out for him by Ryoma's brother. And that, like, you wouldn't have known that. But she really cared about Ryoma. She wanted what was best for him. And I just feel like we don't see that kind of storytelling anymore. Like, sure, I love God of War. Sure, I love Spider-Man. But there's something about the Yakuza series that just does storytelling on a whole nother level. I really, like, when I say I really love this game, I really love this game. Dead Space Remake was definitely going to be game of the year for me. But the more I spend time away from it, the more I spent time in this world of like a dragon ish. And I was really like, wow, this really is my game of the year. And then again, Resident Evil 4 remake may change that, but I don't know because the story was just so captivating and so inspiring, man. Like I wanted what was, I wanted Ryoma to succeed. It's like leading up to like chapter six, not knowing the full, de full details. It's, it felt like every decision uh, he made was putting more harm to his brother and his people <clears throat> back in Tosa. Big twist reveal. His brother was the cause of everything. His brother was the cause of uh, their father, their pops dying. The cause for all his all his problems. And that reveal is just blow, blows my mind. I wouldn't have known that. The moment you, we face him in the end, we find out that Wow, his brother actually isn't dead. He's actually alive. And Ryoma's just wrestling with that. He's wrestling with that through all, all this. He doesn't want to believe that it could be his brother, that his brother could be behind it all. But he finally makes the realization that that is the case. And guys, I really want more gaming like that. We need more gaming like that. If I'm being honest, we need gaming that's not afraid to do things differently. And I want more games like, like a Dragon Nation. It was just so good. It was so captivating. And honestly, I just wanted to share my thoughts on it. Not a really long video, but really blown away by this game. And it's right now my game of the year. And I'm super pumped for it. And I can't wait to see, uh, can't wait to experience the other Yakuza games and learn about Kiru and Majima and all these other massive characters that are just larger in life. But that's it. That's the video, guys. I love you all. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.